The left right now is frantically excited. We got another mass shooting. It's a white supremacist Donald Trump supporter, I'm sure. Let's rev up the David Hogs. David Hogg, put down your dildos, S.A., because it's time to grab some guns. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> All hands on deck. We've got a happening happening over here. Shut it down. This mass shooting, we definitely don't want to talk about. Why is that? Why is that? Well, I'll explain it to you. It's two scoops, by the way. It's two do 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 Oh, no. Gunman. <laughs> That's definitely going to piss somebody off, babe. <sighs> Gateway pundit. Gunzerb. Behind Philly Massacre is BLM supporter. And... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I was making fun of this when it was just one scoop of hilarity in the fact that, again, you dumb, gullible, goofball white people with a severe amount of white guilt, also known as racism, here you've got a Black Lives Matter acolyte killing black people. Oh, how's that? How's that? Because we told you. We told you. Black Lives Matter doesn't care about black people. Black Lives Matter, Summer of Love, that was mostly peaceful, with well, a side of fiery, killed dozens of black people. Billions of dollars have been grifted from you dumb fucking gullible white assholes of the left hand flavorisms. And how has that benefited any black kid? What, what black person has benefited from the billions of dollars? Billions of dollars through the financial institution, Walmart, Target, Disney, Microsoft, you dumb fuckers <laughs> just sending money, buying these stupid BLM shirts. How has this benefited any kid in Compton right now? It hasn't, because it was a grift, morons. Democrat money laundering scam. So here you got a situation where a Black Lives Matter activist ended five black people. So no, you definitely ain't gonna fucking hear about this. You are, you, hell no, you ain't gonna hear about this. We have a severe issue in this country. The left will scream, well, it's a gun epidemic. It's not a gun epidemic. There are hundreds of millions of guns in this country. There are trillions of rounds of ammunition in this country, and 90% of that is in law-abiding hands. Ain't, we ain't killing anybody. You Alec Baldwin motherfuckers and BLM tards killing black people, that's a predominant gang issue. We have a situation in this country where gangs are being flooded with guns with uh, their serial numbers filed off of them. How, how are all of these guns, where are all these guns coming from? Democrats. Because the Democrats love this. The Democrats love when people get shot. Because if it's a white person, then they scream racism. If it's a black person, they try to ignore it. And if it's a black person who happens to be zerbed, then they definitely want to ignore it. But they still want the gun statistics so they can scream, well, we got to take guns. You don't have a gun problem. Right? You got a gang problem in this country. You clearly have a gang problem. You take suicides and you take gangs out of the shooting index. And we are the safest place by far. And we got a fuck ton of guns in this place. Law-abiding citizens don't shoot people with their guns. Only criminals are doing this. And surprise, criminals won't follow more gun restrictions, morons. But anyway, keep bending over backwards for all of this nonsense. Wave your BLM flags as... That is happening right there. That's a shame. And uh, add in the other scoop of uh, very interesting happenings over here. For a percentage of the population that is supposed to be 0.0001% of the population, I'm noticing a lot of mass shootings being committed lately. That's weird how that works. You're not allowed to notice that. Now, everybody totally noticed for the last 20 years, mass shootings... Well, again, if you take out the gun. Most mass shootings, by the way that they've changed the definition, most mass shootings are happening in Baltimore, in Chicago. In Harlem. They're happening in all of these predominantly Democrat-run places by not white people. But if you go back and traditionally look at school shootings where lots of people are being shot up in schools, I don't want to get Sandy hooked over here, but that was totally legitimate shooting, everybody. Please don't sue me for a trillion dollars, even though that shooting smells like shit. Anyhow, there's white people. It's white idiots doing this. 
white mentally ill AOC eye having goofballs. You're definitely allowed to notice that. Then they changed the definition of mass shooting. Now it's a predominantly not white issue. You're not supposed to notice that. And now lately, as we're indulging everybody's identities, I'm noticing a specific group shooting a lot of people lately. And uh, don't misgender them because that will be a higher offense than their actual mass shootings. Wow. Wow. So this is... Uh, the guns are... Kim Brady, 40, was arrested late Monday evening after fatally shooting five people and injuring two children in uh, some neighborhood of Philadelphia. Wow. So we've got a... Um, <laughs> they keep going. Oh my god, the, the, you book burning, book banning sons of bitches. When was the last time that a drag queen killed somebody? Well, uh, lately? Because <laughs> uh, I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> it's uh, interesting how that works. But uh, they won't be talking about this mass shooting, boys. And you can probably guess why. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Thank you so much, so much, so much for watching these crazy videos. Thank you so much for supporting this crazy channel. If you want to be kept up to date with all of the mass shootings from these lefty weaponized the 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 what the left hand side loves to scream about radicalization and terrorisms but boy i'm seeing a lot of mass shootings from one political ideology lately hmm that's how that works hit that subscribe button and make why because the salt must flow